This video is brought to you by Southern New Hampshire University. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to It's Cobblemon Server, the Cobblemon server where it's all about community, having fun, and becoming the very best. My name's Eerie, and I am the person who runs this server. And as you can see, if you've played on it before, you know that it looks much different. That's right, as 1.4 has improved Cobblemon, we have improved our server with frequent tournaments, player run events, a quest system, and much, much more. The only way to find out how fun it is is to play. So here's the IP, it's Cobblemon. .mcserver.io. Come join us, and we can't wait to see you guys here. Enjoy the Let's Play. All right, we spawn in. There's so many people here. Hey, what? How do you have so many potatoes? This server's been alive for like five minutes. So it's very important. We have to choose a starter. Now, here's how this is going to work. I, for this Let's Play, am going to only be using new Kabamon that are featured in 1.4, which means I'm going to have to go with the Gen 2 or Gen 9 starter. But if I have to choose someone, you guys already know. I got to go with my boy Quaxley. We got Quaxley. And an awesome feature of 1.4 is I can nickname him to <laughs> Duck Norris. <laughs> yeah, we're going with that one. Let's do Duck Norris. Norris. Let's take a look at this thing. Ooh, its IVs are crazy. It's pretty strong. Now, the main goal of this episode is going to be finding the five other members of our teams so that when our gym system is in place, I can start taking on the gyms. So the really neat thing about our gyms is just like in Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, they could be battled in any order. Now, obviously, there's things in place so that you don't overlevel. Our gym system isn't completely in place yet, but by the next episode, we'll at least have a couple gyms for us. All right, I think it's time for us to go adventure out into the world and start looking for the next member of our team. Just like anybody else, I gotta mine some wood. Uh-oh, I found my first berry trees, chat. Nice. What is this over here? Is this Badlands? This is a cool biome. We generate it using Terralith, which means there's like special generation involved. Everything looks really cool. Oh, we got some uh, medicinal leeks here. Nice. We'll be able to use that to make potions. We'll need those later. There's a blue apricorn tree. So we'll be able to make some grape balls or some azure balls. One of the goals is to get one of every seed. Pink apricorns. Nice. So I want to color code all the balls that I catch Pokemon in. Of course, Waxy's special case because he has to come in a Pokeball. I see a lush cave over here we're going to go visit. Nice. Oh, we have had some Vivichoke here. Or Peppa Flower and some uh, Revival Herbs. Nice. Nothing to mine. I think I think this is a Cobblemon plant up top here. This doesn't look vanilla. Yes, a big root. Perfect. I see more Peppa plant down there. Iron already? So many Peppa plants. I'm drowning in the Peppa plants. Really, I need to find copper though, because I'd like to make some Pokeballs. I found a little underground... Oh, I found some copper. Looks like a little abandoned hut. I'll definitely take this. What we got in here? I got a silk touch shovel, a piercing book, blocks of raw iron, some glow berries. That's fine. We'll take the bookshelves. Very cool. All right, so yeah, as you can find these underground structures like that with the world generation mods that we use. The server is completely vanilla Cobblemon. If you want to play on it, all you need is Cobblemon. Everything else is server sided. We don't require you to download so many things that make your game lag and everything. Uh, I could probably do this. To get down there? Yeah, that worked. I see quite a bit of stuff down here, so definitely gonna take the venture. Do I see any diamonds? That's the question. Uh, I see an iron vein over here, so that's cool, but there's a lot of diamonds up there. So we found our first diamonds, and I think I saw more over here. This is a nice cave system I stumbled upon. More over here. There was more back there. There's more right here. I just passed it. It's like I'm barely trying. Oh, there's two. We're definitely gonna need to find a place to make a base. I would like to maybe find a cherry blossom. Let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. Let's keep exploring. There's a chest over there. It's just weird. It's just chilling. Let's see what's in this chest over here. Oh, it's a dungeon. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Vivichoke seeds seems important. Look we'll out. We'll grab these uh, pink apricorn seeds. I like that. That'll sell for a lot. People want these bad boys. Oh, everything in my inventory is just so precious. Sorry, bread. <laughs> you gotta go. We'll take some Vivichoke seeds for our farm. So yeah, my inventory is getting a bit full, so I think it's time I maybe RTP out of this cave. Pokemon is one of my all-time favorite franchises to ever exist. It's full of innovation, amazing designs, and expansive worlds. But it's no secret there's some shortcomings in newer games. The good news is the future of game development is watching this video right now. I'd like to introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, Southern New Hampshire University. SNHU is an easy and affordable way to get a 
college degree. And what's unique about them is they have a fully online game development program. In SNHU's game development program, you'll be taught the knowledge and given the experience to create your own video games and get help finding a career in game development. You'll learn how to model both 2D and 3D, and you'll learn how to develop AI to make your games engaging for players. SNHU has a staff of industry experienced developers to teach you and help you find a job after you graduate. SNHU is accredited, nonprofit, and radically affordable, and voted the country's most innovative university by the US News and World Report. So what are you waiting for? Start your game development journey by going to www.snhu.edu slash it's eerie. Follow the information there to see if you're eligible for scholarships or already have credits to get you a head start in changing the world of gaming. Make sure you guys follow my link, which you can see right here on screen. And I can't wait to see what you guys accomplish with the help of Southern New Hampshire University. Thank you again to SNHU. All right, I decided it'd be best, you know, ignoring the, the forest fire over there. Now, since we're playing on Minecraft 1.20 now, we should build our base inside a cherry grove, the new biome from Minecraft 1.20. I've never played Minecraft 1.20, so I've never seen one of these, and it is very pretty. Let's just build a, a small little base, like a little outpost, you know? I want to start the farm, like, as soon as I possibly can. So I think we're gonna get a, an agriculture chest started like right away. So let's take all this agriculture stuff Things that we grow things that we you know agriculture stuff. You, you know what I'm talking about. You, you get me. Take all that and we'll put it in this chest here So we got berries. We got the apricorn seeds. Two seconds later. These guys. And that's vanilla. This guy. This guy. And this guy. Okay, cool Hello there Spinner rack. Spinner rack. Get out of here nerd. It's like a little like cave down here. Whoa. Yeah, we're on top of all these mushroom plants. There's a leaf stone right there. We have a leaf stone. I would like to get some bone meal. Do you think Lillipup drops bones? All right, let's go take our first fight. It's level 11 Lillipup. We're gonna take it down. It does drop bones. That is so clutch. And blue wolf for some reason. We'll take out this Growlithe. Just get some XP. Growlithe might drop bones too. This is a dog. Nice. Yeah, dogs have bones, chat. Oh, yellow apricorn tree. We get some yellow apricorns. So now we've got this color of apricorn, which means you're just missing white huh? and red. I swear I got- no, I have it in my inventory. Oh, I got all of it in my inventory. No, I need all the seeds to get the achievement. Okay, definitely need to find more of those trees. Red, white, and blue. There's this tree over here. White, 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 white. Blue? We don't have blue seeds. Please give me seed. I did not get a red apricorn seed, but it looks like you did. We can pull together our farming resources, so we'll make one big farm. I'm stealing all these. Just need a red seed. Red seed acquired! I would like to train up a little bit before we have to go do anything else. Let's kill this Weedle. Got learned Aqua Jet. Let's go. Be fast now. There's another dog over here we can take out. That's a dead dog. And you only give me blood and flesh? That's cringe. I know for a fact, as soon as it turns into daytime, one of the Pokemon I want spawns pretty near spawn. So I might go back there to look for it. There's a Happini here. I feel like that's got a high XP yield. Oh, dropped a lucky egg? Oh, it's an oval stone. I'm stupid. <laughs> but Quaxly is ready to evolve already. So let's go ahead and evolve that bad boy. Wow. Now we have a Quaxwell. Nice. Looking cool. What is that over there? What is this structure? Oh, hey, uh, there's a Nackley already. That was so easy. Where's it at? Is it down here? Got it. It's over here. Yes, there it is. The first member of our team, Nackley, is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with a couple wing attacks, because I think I'd Oko it. All right, now we're gonna try catching it in a Premier Ball. Nice. All right, first member of our team is caught. Beautiful. What a handsome boy. All right, guys, let me know in the comments what I should name the Nackley. I'll let everybody in the comments choose the names of my Pokemon here. All right, and now that we're in a desert, too, I think we should be able to find the next member of our team is right there. Wow, okay. This thing's a little bit higher of a level. So I think I'm just going to YOLO throw the Slate Ball at it. <laughs> See what happens. One, two, three. Got it. Fight. What broke out? I thought it shook three times. All right, looks like we are going to battle it. Water gun doesn't do a lot. Use roar. I'm okay with that. We can use mud shot. That should do quite a bit. Okay, well, I think now it's time to maybe throw a ball at it. All right. Come on. One, two, three. Nope. <sighs> Broke out and it took out Duck Norris. Looks like we're gonna have to use our last slate ball here before we have to probably go craft more and then come back. One, two, three. Come on. Oh, it was so close. No, 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 don't suffocate. I'll teleport back to you. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go get more slate balls. 
Can't believe that thing broke out. And it's gone? For some reason, it's gone. So we're gonna have to keep looking around for another Shinx. Maybe we'll find maybe a weaker one. All right, Kari says to teleport. They might've found a Shinx for me. Yeah, there's another Shinx right here. This one's only level 14, so we definitely should be able to hit it with an Aqua Jet and then go from there with our Slate Balls. All right. Come on, stay in the ball this time, Shinx. I know you wanna come with me. Caught it, nice. I think we've just run into another member of the team that I'd like to catch. And it looks like here at spawn, where's it at? Is it flying? Right here in front of the Pokeball shop is the next member of our team. Let's catch this Brookity. I think we just throw a ball at this thing. We're gonna throw a nice little Azure ball at it. Nope. Looks like we're gonna have to hurt this thing. We'll go ahead and throw out one Smackdown. And then let's throw another ball here. One, two, three. Please stay in. Awesome, and we've caught the Rookity. So that is four of our five team members. So I'm gonna go search for the biome that we need to find the other two. The Taiga at nighttime. Oh, and already, right away, we found the guy we're looking for. This beautiful, beautiful phantom. It's level 18. Let's see if Rookity will be able to take it down a, a couple. A little bit of HP here. 61, I think that's gonna throw a ball. I'm throwing a Verdant Ball at it. Two. Nope. Broke out. Got burned. Let's try again. Come on. I know you can catch. One, two, three. Caught it. Nice. Phantom in the bag. All right. Shout out to my friend Donovan. Found the sixth and final member of our main team. It is beautiful, Ralts. Ralts is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, actually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn it a little bit. And I should be able to just throw one of these reset balls. Should catch. One, two, three. First ball. Thank you, Donovan. Let's go. All right. And with that, we have caught our team. We did a lot of mining, found a place to build a base. So next time we're going to train up, make a farm, and uh, hopefully challenge the first gym. I greatly appreciate you guys watching this episode. If you want to see more, make sure you guys subscribe. You know, only like 4% of my viewers are subscribed. So the more the merrier. Don't miss out on a video. And make sure you leave a like so more people see this video. And like I said, comment what I should nickname these Pokemon. Of course, Jack Norris was obvious, but you know, Rookity, Waltz, Phantom, Shinx, all of them. Whatever we want to name them, you let me know know in the most liked comments or the coolest comments i will make sure to name the pokemon after i've been eerie and you have a great day oh my legos shoot oh no my legos